I don't know how people do it with the whole entire like oh, I'm gonna just play emulators all day and all night type of situation. I don't know. It's just, it's it's my own personal way of looking at things. I don't I don't like the pirate things and whatnot. And I get why people pirate some things. Lock number six 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 L L three G. Okay, I gotta write that down too. So let's go and put that down. L three J. I'm gonna put that in this little thing that way I know just in case. So locker number six six six. And what do you want, is Iwazaru? Alright, cool, cool. I don't know where the lockers are, but I do want to like actually open one. Oh, the Black Lottery website, uh, Rico and all? Yeah, dude, honestly, I would suggest anyone that has a backlog. And I'm talking about, like, you got, like, ten games that you have not played. Um, that is really good to have, like, a backlog rate. Right? I hate that thing so much. I hate it so much. Alright, well, we're gonna actually use Coyote for a bit here. But honestly, I I really love Backlog Green because there's a lot of great people on there for one and for two. Um, it's just a really fun way to organize your games and be like, hey, I'm playing this, I'm doing this right now. And like, it can show you how many games you have and it's just ridiculous. And I need to update mine still. Can you believe that? I have to update how my Backlog Green. And I already know I have tons of games on there as is. That is from my own personal collection. That is all, all me getting all those games and whatnot. I don't mean to brag, I'm just kind of saying, like, I may have a problem. <laughs> I'm not seeing, like, any kind of, like, thing going on here. Like, I don't see any lockers that I could go to and, like, kind of put in stuff. That's okay. I need to go there. Entry hall. So where's this locker that I need to like go to? The 666 locker or whatever. Hmm. I got pretty many games, so I doubt I, I would add all the games on there. Ah, uh, dude, you, it gets addicting putting all the games on there. So I, I want I want to say never. That's all I'm saying. Ah, oh, god. I will admit that putting things on back locker is a hassle and a half, though. It really is. I guess this is the thing? But I don't think you get letters here. We're gonna go and do this real quick. See if that works. Yeah, that's not how it works. Um, yeah, you probably have to like count like these things or whatever. To see what they are. I really don't want to do that. But I'll go ahead and... God, this turn is so slow. Put the number of times they have to dance? What? Hold up, wait, what? You're starting to learn how to, how to play Toho 15 and all that such? I actually know someone that plays Toho. That's that's so odd. After all those times that I, I was yelling at Fubi about this kind of stuff. 
about how every game was as hard as Toho. He gets so mad about that. You ever see uh, Quibby, Quibby, um, Rico and all just talk to him about uh, Toho and whatnot? Also, for this, I don't. I'm not gonna look. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna try to figure that out. I am literally just gonna go to Killer Seven walkthrough and find the answer that way. Cause honestly, I don't need this mess. I I don't need to like be like, oh, how many numbers are this thing and that. It's kind of like no. That's short-term memory patterns. I don't need to do that. No, thank you. Three five seven six. That's what it is. Three five seven six. Three five. Seven, six. There we go. Yeah, two of fifteen is what I'm gonna uh, play tomorrow. I'll probably stream it too. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. Good to care. So there's Travis. Okay. So I got a cassette player. I got cassette tapes. So now what? So I still got some in there. I guess I have to meet up Travis um around a locker or something. Oh hey yo yo, how you doing? Embrace the the pickle god for she is life. No, I don't like pickles. I don't like them. I don't like pickles. Oh yeah, this game is too weird for me. See you later. All right, Riku. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I didn't mean to go through that one. But we're almost done here, Yayo. Um, I'm I'm getting close to it. It's coming my way. It's coming. Right, keep going, buddy. Just every time they go downstairs, like, oh, okay, gotta stay really cool and nice and calm, calm about this. He just slowly walked down the stairs, kind of like, really? You gotta be like this? Every time? Alright, so Travis should be here <laughs> somewhere. Oh, come on, man. Really? 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 Fucked. Forever. No. <laughs> going all the way. There's the other one. That was very close. Fucked. I'm not seeing him around. So I guess he's further down this way. Showing the non believer also, hey! <laughs> That's fair. Oh, come on, dude. Like, literally, I just. You know what? I'm just gonna go through here. It's just easier. Just slightly avoid it. <laughs> Land out, just keep shooting them. That's all it comes down to. Just keep shooting them. It's fine. They'll know what they're up to. They'll know what they did wrong. All of them. <laughs> God dang it. It's gonna be a oh. fight. I don't care. I don't give back. <laughs> Classroom, hallway. Classroom! God. Oh god. Hallway. 449. Four, yeah, there's definitely like a locker somewhere. Why or something? Keep going. Where are you, Travis? I know you're somewhere around here. Really? There's six 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 eight five. And further down this way? Six seven eight. Six, 
Where's the 666? This will be somewhere close to here. There we go. And we got a soul shell. And we got a re receive tape. So now what? Go through here? When in doubt, shoot him. <laughs> it's still in doubt. Shoot him some more. Yep. What does it say? Change? Change the the wild. That's fair. Okay, what is all this about? It's been a few days since the presidential election. Today's the fourth Thursday in November. Rainy. My name's Hulbert. An FBI agent assigned to the Apollo branch. An investigation for the Electoral Justice Committee has brought me to this place. My purpose, to investigate any connection between this school and the presidential election. As I dig, I'm finding out that there's a lot of dirt. I knew something was up when they assigned me to take this investigation. Whoever finds this tape, do me a favor and look for the other tapes. I'll record my findings in these tapes. My first finding, 55549. It's the number of delinquent students here, and also the combination to unlock the safe. Don't forget it. Okay, I already know about the 55549. This is Halbert. There's more to this safe than I thought. It's got a double lock mechanism. I need another combination, but I figured it out. It's 72712. It's the number of criminals in this school. Seven if I'm lucky, I might hit the truth. But digging deeper might cost me my life. I'm going to I have to replay that one cuz it it's it shows it right up there. This is Halbert. There's more to this safe than I thought. It's got a double lock mechanism. I need another combination. But I figured it out. It's 72712. Seven, it's one, the two. number okay, of criminals cool. in this school. If I'm lucky, I might hit the truth. Well, I'm not, all right, I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you for for helping out and whatnot. Tell me to shoot things. I'm actually really close to beating it, just so you know. It's Halbert. I ran a background check on the boy. His name is Amir Parkreiner. The Parkreiners. <laughs> a family damned by the devil himself. Some say that they possess the DNA of crime. It's drawn the attention of many academics. It appears that Amir Parkreiner was sent to this school by the government. Assigned as his teacher was the former principal. His name's... He's the key person linked to some kind of underground organization. What? It's Hulbert. And I must say I'm damn glad to still be alive. Still being able to record my findings. I heard a voice, more like laughter. I tried to locate the owner of the voice. There's something roaming around in these halls. I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. This place is dangerous beyond my imagination. I've got to find a safe place. Just a minute ago, I found a student ID. The ID number is 00480. One five eight. I think that was it. I had to like re watch, re listen to that. It's I over. guess I can stay. <laughs> Yay, I am staying. I must say, I'm damn glad to stay. I got this alive. one, and then I got like Still one more other one to go for them. I I, I really doubt it's gonna take voice. like a like a more oh. like two laughter. hours to actually do I tried to locate the owner of the voice I just need to figure this out there's something because he's like leaving just like a bunch of information I know it sounds crazy come on buddy but you have to believe me this place is dangerous beyond Damn. my imagination Seriously. I've got to find a safe place just a minute ago I found a student ID the ID number is zero zero four eight zero four eight zero eight one five eight Okay, cool. So now we're on five. I, th I guess there's ten on missing one? It's Albert. 
It's safe here. Just past 12. A quiet night outside the school. But inside the walls of this school, the voices still continue to echo. I, uh, I think I'm going to go mad. It sure doesn't help my chronic headaches. Well, at any rate, I confirmed his birth date. It's November 22nd, 1942. Wait a minute. This can't be right. That's over 50 years ago. Wait, the kid is that old? Why would a kid be that old? It's Halbert. I don't have time. But I found out where Amir is from. There were some documents sent from Alabama regarding his parents' blood types. The father, type A. The mother, type O. If their blood types are correct, then Amir's blood type must be wrong. It just doesn't match. Not only that, the DNA analysis doesn't match either. What the hell's going on here? That's so weird. It's Hulbert. I'm in the library of the PTA. About Amir's parents, or should I say so-called parents, their names are Michael and Catherine. They died in a car accident when Amir was four years old. Something about this car accident seems fishy. I, I better continue my investigation. I sense something bad here. Oh, this is really weird, dude. My name's Hulbert. My investigations on Amir Park Reiner led me to this school. I'm not even sure if the whole thing's even real. It all seems surreal. I don't know if anyone will believe anything on these tapes, but I gotta tell the truth. Amir Park Reiner died on April 28th, 1952. The registration of residence indicates that he was living with his parents. Then who is the Amir attending this school? Have the records been fabricated? I need to like re realize on that. My name's Hulbert. My investigations on Amir Park Reiner led me to this school. I'm not even sure if the whole thing's even real. It all seems surreal. I don't know if anyone will believe anything on these tapes, but I gotta tell the truth. Amir Park Reiner died on April 28th, 1952. The registration of residence indicates that he was living with his parents. Then... Who is the Amir attending this school? Have the records been fabricated? The government has gone too far. Jeez, dude, there's like so many tapes, and like so many answers. Facts don't tell the whole story, or the truth. <laughs> it's so cliche, but it's the truth about the state this country is in. This school is controlled by the government of another nation. Students here are trained to become elite agents to work for the government. Graduates are assigned to leading positions in the government and promise their life. Some are recruited as Yakumo party members. Those selected become key players in the intelligence war. <laughs> in other words, they have the capability to spark some fires in the United States. That's the job of a Yakumo party member. What? So we got like, like gangs and like all these other things going on here and all these weird bits and pieces? That's crazy! Wait, hold on, what, what's the photo look like? Apparently you have to assassinate the principal? Alright, whatever.